What is a disturbing fact you wish you could unlearn? Manatees have vaginas that are the most anatomically similar to humans. Manatees may also be the inspiration for myths about mermaids, beautiful half-fish women that lured sailors to their deaths. Connecting those dots have been mentally scarring. Surgeons used to operate on infants without anesthesia, including open-heart surgery. They have stopped this, however, in the 1980s. Often people that fracture their tibia, big shin bone, but not their fibula, thin shin bone, think they're okay to stand up and when they put weight through that leg then the fibula breaks too. Apparently, Japan bombed China with fleas infected with bubonic plague during World War II. Big rain I think. That a dolphin committed suicide after falling in love with its handler that used to jerk the dolphin off. I was a lot happier before I knew that tonsil stones were a thing. It takes three full rotations to remove the human head because of the skin's elasticity. Edit. How is this popular? You're telling me that people don't know this fact? That tumors can grow teeth. Jeffrey Dahmer drilled a hole into some victim skulls and tried pouring different toxic liquids into the hole. He was trying to make a sex slave that could eat and drink but could in no way fight back or escape. The worst fact is that victims might survive the first hole with all brain function intact and live long enough to be fully aware they were going to get a second or third hole drilled. My mom told me I have my grandma's nipples. Why am I willingly learning all the facts that people wish to unlearn? There are corpses on Mount Everest which are used as waypoints. Hey look. There is no limbs Derek. I guess we're going the right way. There is a chance you might fall in a sleep paralysis like state when under anesthesia. Meaning you'll feel your surgery while being unable to move. I feel bad for Diavolo now. Any details about the toy box killer's ways of torturing his victims? The guy was a serial rapist, just leave it at that. Pretty much anything about Prions. Edit. Wow, this blew up. And it's my first awarded post. And on my cake day, too. Smiling face. Also, S, O to X Files and, Our Town, for teaching me about Prions in the first place. Choco chicken, anyone? There is a phenomenon known as, stone baby. Where a fetus dies and doesn't get absorbed by the body, so it calcifies inside the mother's abdomen. People have been known to carry around these mummified fetuses for 40 years, totally unaware. There was a time in England where you could feed your pet to the lions in a zoo to avoid paying. A queen of Scotland, if my memory's good, was sentenced to death by beheading. Bear in mind that a beheading was always seen as a quick death. One chop and that's done. She got up to the chopping block and made her prayers. The executioner took three swings to properly behead her. I recall reading how she screamed in terror and pain before the second hit cut her voice. I forgot the details of much, but executioners were not flawless in their handling of sentences. Maybe someone had already said this, but the fact that most people don't want to be around when their pets are put down. Vets have stories about like 70% of the pets they put down being scared and looking for their humans and not seeing them, and dying in afraid and alone. This haunts me. Every single fact about bedbugs. There is a type of insomnia that will kill you. Life expectancy is around a year after onset. FFI fatal familial insomnia. Guy who I worked with when I was 15 turned out to be a convicted child molester. He never touched me but he was definitely really uncomfortably friendly around me. My biology teacher had a Q&A session before Christmas and one student asked if it's possible to be allergic to your own blood. Unfortunately you can. Just imagine your own immune system destroying your red blood cells, constant hemorrhaging, constantly feeling cold and out of breath. When we got back from winter break we saw a new face in class, a former student of my bio teacher who just so happened to have this disease and we spent the whole class asking questions. I feel so bad for the guy but thankfully the medicine available to suppress the immune system has made his life bearable. Every time you walk into a stinky public bathroom, you are inhaling tiny bits of strange people's shit. Right in your mouth. Parmesan cheese and vomit contain butyric acid and it is responsible for the most distinct aspects of their smells. The murder of Junko Furuta. I read true crime stories every now and then but this is by far the most gut-wrenching story I've ever heard. There's a wiki page for those curious enough but I heavily suggest not to if you want to maintain your faith in humanity. The only part of your reflection that you can lick is your tongue. The sound a human makes hitting a concrete floor head first from about 12 feet up. Also the visual. 
parrots often bond with a keeper, from their perspective, as a lifelong romantic partner. If the person dies, or the parrot is displaced, they can go into massive depression and pluck out their own feathers. The South Korean government murdered 200,000 girls, boys, adults, and families with zero basis or even a trial. The Bodo League massacre, and they continue to cover it up today and hope the world doesn't find out. Dolphins like raping shit for fun. Wish I could unlearn that since I used to like swimming with them. This is explicitly a post full of things people wish they never learned, and I and thousands of other people clicked anyway. We hella dumb. There is traces of plastic now being found in umbilical cords nauseated face. Male ducks are rapists, sometimes to the point where they will literally gang rape females to death. Without mucus, your stomach would digest itself. Also Junko Furuta. Where's that rabies post? Joseph Fritzel, the man who imprisoned his daughter in an underground cellar for 24 years and raped her approximately 3,000 times. My roommate said, the feeling, sound, and visuals of a dog's skin degloving from its body after being lost for a week and found in a pond. She's a vet tech. She's learned some shit. Only about 50% of the cells in your body are, you. The rest are microbes that exist as part of your microbiome. When someone has their head cut off, the screaming when they sever the throat sounds just like pigs. I unfortunately saw a video released by a terrorist organization many years ago and it still haunts me. A man named Pell Olin slid his wrists and then shot himself in the head and a photo of his dead body was used as album art. Can't ever know what the people around you are capable of. Torture exists in this reality and that the human body can survive well past many tortures until the end. There are people out there smart enough to understand Rocco's basilisk and yet dumb enough to be concerned about it. Starfish can get infected and rip themselves apart. Learned this in intro to psychology men's lips are the same color as the head of their penis. Edit. I did some research, and from users' personal experiences on here, and this isn't always the case. It's true for some men, but not all. And some factors that have to do with the body's chemistry and change the color. I just remember hearing this in class and being so weirded out that it stuck with me. Unit 731. The fact that dogs like squeaky toys because it sounds like their prey crying out in pain. Nazis used to experiment on Jewish children via sterilizing, altering eye color and even sewing them together. Talk about human centipede IRL. Gangrene exists. 